Hi guys, this is such a weird angle, but I wanted to get my little lights in and my ears. So yeah, this is the angle we are dealing with today. Um, so I am coming to do a bit of a haul. I don't think it's too many things, but I don't know, I want to group them together and show you guys, which I feel bad about because it's nearing Christmas as I'm filming this and I know I'm going to have like another haul like near this one. My hauls always seem to follow each other which is really weird even if I film it like months before. They always end up just being uploaded near each other which is irritating because it looks like I'm spending more money than I'm not basically and it probably looks like I'm bragging but I'm not. But anyway without further ado let's start on the haul. So I think I'll start with the stuff that I'm wearing first. Um, this was from Primark when I went to Lakeside with Chloe. So the first thing is this jumper thing I don't usually go for simple things like this but I don't really have any long sleeved things like long sleeved tops if that makes sense and I just wanted something simple so it's got like a ribbon on oh that feels really nice <laughs> ribbon on the arms um, and then it's like let me lower you down it's like a half like a, a shorter bit at the front and then a longer bit at the back if you can see uh, just a little bit and it's really nice I got this actually in the size uh, XL I think and it's so funny because I didn't mean I thought it was a large but it's, the hanger said large but you can't trust Primark hangers basically I went to try it on and it was so bloated I don't know why but it felt tight and I thought well I'm gonna get this because I don't want to get a bigger size me unbeknownst that it was an extra large anyway but um, I've tried it on now where I've like I'm my normal size because I'm not bloated and it fits just how I wanted it to fit it's basically a little bit baggy Do you see what I mean like it's got a bit of flap to it um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. Let me just tell you quickly what it's called. So this was the khaki extra large um, like jumper thing and it was £13. So following up from that, same in Primark again, I ended up getting the super high waist skinny jeans um, for, oh dear, I don't know how much they were but I feel like they were a similar price around £13 to £15. Um, and they just look like this, they're just like black skinny jeans, they're high waisted so you know they hold you in a bit if you can see um i just i'm always running out of jeans basically i keep jeans until they're like literally hanging on by threads um so i've just been trying to get some more comfortable jeans that you know go with everything nothing too crazy in terms of patterns because i've i'm always clashing with patterns and i just need some plain simple things Okay, so now I think that's all that I need to do in terms of standing up. Try and adjust you guys again so that you're at a decent sort of angle. So, um, another thing that I'm wearing is this ring you guys probably saw in my Winter Wonderland vlogs. Um, so it's just a cat ring. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. I'll take it off as well. It's really cute, really simple thing. Um, with little cat ears which is adorable I got that from one of the stalls came in a cute little bag like this which is adorable I quite like the bag um, so I'll be keeping the ring inside this um, and as you also probably saw I got friendship bracelets with my friend Maria um, so I'll probably put that on now actually so this is the blue one up in person in case you didn't see that properly in the hall moving on to um, something that's really strange okay so basically Chloe's mum got me a present for my birthday which is back in September if you guys didn't know but I kept forgetting to take it off of Chloe every time I saw her um, but bless her she kept hold of it and she like kept trying to remember to give it to me and yeah I finally got it so thank you very much to Chloe's family for getting me this lovely little um, present so it is the body shop hand cream honestly it couldn't have come at a better time because all my hand creams are running out now and obviously being winter i need some hand cream <laughs> so this is the sheer hand cream and this is the pink grapefruit hand cream and it's the little ones it's the 30 ml um ones i don't know if i'm going to be able to smell them because it probably have like a silver tab oh, oh no it doesn't oh shea is just such a nice scent it's just soft it's just soft and soothing nothing crazy and then the pink grapefruit one I don't know if I've had any of the pink grapefruit products I might have done but I can't remember this is so nice it's just so like when I say sour I don't mean it in a bad way like it's sharp that's the word mm, so citrusy and lovely so thank you very much again and sorry it took me ages to get them <laughs> so all the other stuff now are just from Lakeside when I went recently with Chloe so I'm just going to continue in and diving into these products so I didn't mean to, but I ended up picking up books. I knew I shouldn't have suggested going into to Waterstones, but, you know, these things happen. I bought books. Um, I get scared to buy books these days because I don't know what I've got. I've got so many unread TBR books that I just need to get through. And buying more doesn't help, but I did it. <laughs> so the first one, they're both by Rupee 
Ooh, rupee car core i'm not sure how to pronounce it i've heard a lot of stuff from about this but this is um milk and honey it's a collection of poetry i believe i don't know if it's like an autobiographical by how do you say that autobiographical poetry set um but i've heard a lot about this even my little cousin she read this and she said it was beautiful like it was really intense and it made her cry so i'm like oh gosh i've got that to look forward to but um it's something i want to try out I've, i don't really read much poetry so i would like to broaden my knowledge in that field um and i thought this would be one to start with maybe so on the back it's just got i'm not sure if it's like an extract of one of the poems in the book or if it's just a random bit but it says this this is the journey of surviving through poetry this is the blood, sweat, tears of 21 years. This is my heart in your hands. This is the hurting, the loving, the breaking, the healing by Rupi Kaur. I don't know how to pronounce it, I should have looked it up, sorry. And then um, it was buy one, get one half price. And I, was, I wasn't really going to buy two books, but then I noticed that this per I don't know if it's a he or a she either. I noticed that they got um, another book out as well. And this is The Sun and Her Flower. I don't know if it's a continuation or if it's just another... Yeah, I think it's just another collection of poetry. Um, on the back of this it says, This is the recipe of life, said my mother, as she held me in her arms as I wept. Think of those flowers you plant in the garden each year. They will teach you that people too must wilt. Fall, root, rise in order to bloom. It sounds really beautiful, actually. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to get into these. I might get to them soon. They're quite like small as well, um, so it might help me with my Goodreads reading challenge. But at the same time... Because currently I've got like four or five books I need to finish bef like for my 2017 one. But at the same time with poetry I think I need to take it slow and kind of read over sections again. Just to see if I can understand things and like decode what they mean. Um, I'm just taking it back to uh, GCSE English now. So I don't know, I might do it that way, I might not. We'll, f we'll figure it out as I go along. <laughs> so I was actually looking for some nail glue. I remembered when I was in I think Superdrug. Because the other day I went to put on some nails when I, when I had like cancelled, oh, this hair's getting everywhere. When I had cancelled, well, my music lesson wasn't on for like two weeks straight sort of thing. And I can't really have long nails for when I play the violin specifically because I can't like feel the strings if that makes sense. But because I had a little break I wanted to put them on for like a couple of days. And I didn't have any nail glue that wasn't dried out so I was like, damn it. Um, and then so I picked up this Kiss Power Flex gel, uh, now glue sorry it's a brush on one so i'm hoping it'll be like easy because the ones that i've always used have been the ones that you squeeze out the tube it looks like a little super glue squeezer thing and they just dry up so quick so having a brush tip more like a nail varnish style i'm hoping it will last a little bit longer and be a bit easier to apply as well rather than the one where you squirt on and it just gloops everywhere um so yeah i can't remember how much that was um and then i also picked up another set of house of holland nail things i think i'm going to put on christmas eve after i finish work and these are the kitsch claws i love it they're so kitschy literally like they're so aggressively over the top and tacky that they're just cute it actually reminds me of like some harajuku fashion or something i really love them so this is the house of holland ones by elegant touch like nailed by elegant touch uh, you get 24 in this with 10 sizes and they're just so cute this does come with a glue i do believe because i've got two other house of holland um nail sets that came with the glue that I mentioned earlier but um, yeah I've, I've been eyeing these up for a while because I don't really wear nails so I was like oh I don't want to spend the money but I was in a spendy mood <laughs> so also in Superdrug I decided to try something from Bumble and Bumble this brand's always intrigued me because I just I like the way it looks and how they describe the product if that makes sense but it's always been a bit too like expensive and I don't know I didn't want to splash the money at the time I suppose so um, I think for £23 which is a lot I ended up picking up a mousse so this is from their curling range, which like their curly hair range, which is BB Curl. So obviously I've got underneath this, I've got my natural afro now, and I wanted to try out some products that are more catered towards those. So this is the conditioning mousse for soft, boisterous country curls. So I was thinking, like, instead of gel at times, I could try this. Because I have tried a mousse before, but that's when I had relaxed hair, and I kind of just used it to use it up. I don't think it did anything, it made my hair like more frizzy if anything because obviously I was trying to maintain a straight style the mousse would kind of counteract that whereas now that I've got afro hair I'm hoping it will help um, define my curls without being like greasy or like crunchy so it just says on the back here it creates frizz free touchable curls while locking in moisture with our curl optimised and hydrosculpt blend shake well dispense into palm and rake through damp cow cows? damp cows? I'm not raking this with damp cows I meant damp curls 
style. <laughs> so I'm excited to try this out. If you guys wanted like a review or a demo or something, I'd be happy to like try it out on camera if you wanted to see my thoughts or something like that. So everything else again now is from Primark and I just did a few like mask shopping basically. You saw probably in one of my other hauls that I went a bit crazy with masks. I toned down a little bit on this day but still, you know, I couldn't resist. So I had actually seen, I think, Coco Chic, um, Stephanie Tomes, she's from Coco Chic, uh, on YouTube, talking about some of the Primark masks. So this one was really intriguing to me and it reminded me a bit of the Glam Glow Sonic mask which I've got actually to hand here. Um, they're quite similar in colour, so I was wondering if they'd do a similar thing. Um, so I'll have to find out. Oh, I dropped one of my masks. So we have, what is it actually called? Uh, for £3, this is the Holla and Glow, uh, which is cute. Charge It Sapphire Firm and Peel Off Mask. Interesting stuff. So yeah, I'm hoping that'll be alright. It says it contains vitamin C as well, that's always good for you. And then, um, from the PS range, I don't think that was from, no. From the PS range, it's, uh, I've got the four one-step cleansing aloe nose pore strips, which I've been intrigued in trying those nose strips because I do get like a bit of, um, not blackheads on my nose, but I get a lot of spots, like I've always got some sort of scarring from a spot that keeps re-emerging in the same splat in the same space. I wanted to say space and spot at the same time but I decided last minute that I said spot too many times and I tried to say space and it was too late and my words just jumbled. Um, so hopefully that will help get rid of some of those. And then also from the PS range again and lastly um, the cleansing and polishing, oh it feels weird, Ooh, it feels gravelly, uh, charcoal which makes sense and black sugar scrub which is exciting. So this was 80p this one was a pound. So yeah, that's all the stuff I decided to pick up whilst I was out gallivanting as I do. Um, let me know if you'd like to see any videos specifically about these products. I'll probably, like if I use this in time, I'll probably like review these in a big mask review that I'm sort of setting up at the moment. But yeah, for now, I shall speak to you in another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.